Hey everyone and welcome to this video. In this video we're going to be playing Tearland. Tearland is a horror game and yeah we're going to play into this video. I know I haven't made videos um, very recently and that's only that's because I'm working on my PC setup and trying to make sure my setup is good for me to make more videos and for me to like transition from mobile to desktop and stuff like that. And also school like that. Like I always said I always prioritize school over YouTube or anything else like that. So if you see that oh that I'm not you know posting regularly, it's because I'm trying to focus more on other things because YouTube is something that I do on the side on my free time and not what I focus on twenty four seven. And yeah, so we're gonna go into this but if this is your first time watching my video make sure you like subscribe and click that bell and set the notification I put the video yell the case at you. Alright let's get into this. Alright, so we're going to do a new game, and we're going to start over again. I've played the game a little bit, but not that much, so we're going to see how everything goes. Alright, I think just text. Years have passed since the unfortunate closure of the two land abuse park, founded by you, David Arto, along with your brother Tio. The reasons for closure aren't fully disclosed, I think that's what I said. Since then, you both have moved on and gone separate ways. Okay. What's down in the back? I can't really see the blur. As all this time, the party still stands abandoned or touched until now. Someone familiar has called. I've heard a little bit about I've heard and seen people play this game. So I have like kind of basic idea of how it works. But I haven't really played through it at all. Hmm. It seems like there's a call. Okay. I'm guessing that's David, the person who was just who's on the call. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm guessing that's David. That's something I can't see. That's a mask. Okay, he's wearing the mask. Hmm. Huh, okay. Tigerland. I wonder how things are gonna work. Let's see. Was I don't know. It looked like he was wearing the mask up and maybe he's going back to the amusement park. Probably that's what's happening. Probably what's happening. It's taking some time to load, okay. So we're going somewhere, look where we're going somewhere. We're walking somewhere. I can't see where we're going, but I think that's part of the game. Okay, Tearland, yeah, that's that's the the park. I think the park sign, yeah. So I guess we're going back, yeah. We're going back to the amusement park after it's been untouched. And hopefully we'll learn about that when we're playing the game. Maybe cool. And I want to see if I can finish this game in like three, four um, videos, but it depends. I have to see how editing and how like adapting to PC and all this will work. And yeah, just welcome to your land and now abandoned lifeless amusement park, untouched and wanted to navigate with your environment, use W, A, S, O, D, which everybody knows, the basic keys. And move the mouse around left, around left, left click to collect or interact with items. However, your mouse, your mouse over objects in the scenery to learn about the park. You're ready to go beneath, find a way into the storage behind below. All right. So we got the sign which says the entrance a dilapid. I think that's a dilapidated. Yeah, dilapidated sign shines at top. I thought this right here, so I guess I kind of see where it says do not enter the sign right here. If you see, I'm not sure you guys can see the highlighted thing, then you can see the caution tape and stuff like that. It looks really cool. How's it going? This game is kind of weird the way you have like this kind of blur stuff where you like have to turn like this. It's like kind of circle, circle, they're kind of part of the game or something like that. I don't know. What can we Can we collect anything over here? Okay, can we collect anything over here? Alright, let's go here. What appears to be a cutout of the park's mascot, and that looks, ugh, that looks rough. So it's probably that old. I thought that was a real electronic at the first, but I guess it's it's probably, um, you know, it is what it is. All right, let's go in. Oh, did we, did we go, to, can we go back? Oh, we can, okay. I thought we went back. I think that's the way to the thing below, but I think if I remember correctly, glass with the thing let's go here. Alright. And out of order teacup right the drain had damage over the paint. So it's really hard to see what's here. We can't see it out of like a teacup and you can see right there where the thing came from. What's that? A lore page. 
Oh, so that's what I meant by we can collect. Interesting. Okay. Anything else we can collect? Can we collect anything else? Can we go back? We can go back to the entrance. Hmm. Oh my god, that scared me. What the hell? That okay, that's not for that scared me. Alright, anyway. Ha, huh, that scared me. Where is it? Did he Hmm, that's what she did. Anyway. So we have a it says a large statue of Teeler, polished and fine golden paint to welcome guests. It looks really cool. I kind of see the design, but it's hard for me to see. I think the eyes are somewhere up here are it's hard for me to see. What's there? All right, let's search over here. What's the list of your show stage? Nobody's here. Uh, yeah, of course. I mean, it's abandoned. Duh. Anyway, let's go back here. So, we've done this way. We went this way. I think we've gone everywhere. Let's go up here. A group of regular suspicious place back. It's like something's hidden under, beneath them. All right, let's go forward. So, hold. Okay. All right. So, I guess we're going into the... I guess this is the under place. Just have to be careful, we have to be mindful, and hopefully, we're survive. Hopefully, all right, what's going on here? Climb down the ladder with S and look around with the mouse. When not climbing, your flashlight will activate after a short cooldown period. When the flashlight is on and Tila is visible, aim the light at him to send it back into the darkness. Tila will get a faint audio cue when it becomes invisible. So, my mic, my headphone, which unfortunately. I bought it for the, with the mic and I wasn't able to get things. I'm gonna have to look for a different one to get so that instead of using my phone mic, that's why you have like kind of background noise, I'm able to use both the headset and the mic at the same time, making it better quality and stuff like that. And yeah, so mm, we have to listen. I have my headphones on, so I think we'll be fine. Right, let's do this. Is that it? Alright. What's that? <gasps> That's Teeler. I kind I think I kind of heard it. I can kind of see him without the light. You can kind of see him without the light. Yeah, if you guys look, you kind of see him without the light. All right, let's get into this. I see something right there. Yeah, I see him. I see him. And I have to go take a better look at that to see. Where so I can hear. I think I heard him. No, that's not him. I see him. Yeah, I can kind of see him peeking his head out there, but he looks like he's upside down or something, which makes sense. Are we there? Did we do it? I think we did. I think... Did we get it? Okay, we're here. Okay, all right. So I'm, I'm kind of familiar with this because I've played the game before. All right, so this, this is the level select menu. Scroll with your mouse wheel. Or W slash S on the keyboard. The level tree expands the further you get in the game. You can you can replay previous levels without losing any pros, progress. In addition to the level tree, there are tabs at the top top of the menu, character, lore pages, and perks. There are also optional additional hard modes, variants of of each level shown in red. Those are not required to be but doing this level will grant extra points for unlocking upgrades quicker. If this is your first break to enter the tutorial to understand the basic of tier line. All right, so we're gonna enter the tutorial. So we got, I guess the hours here. Let me see, let me actually read this first. All right, so we got the surface. I guess that's where we came in from. We got the tunnel thing, so that's complete. So we've done that. All right, so we got the tutorial here. And we have hour one, hour two, hour three, hour four, hour five, and finale. Okay, so I guess we have, let me see, one, that's five nights. I guess we have five nights, right? And then we also have custom hour, but we can't, I don't think we can access that. And we can't access that because we've not done it yet. Let's check over here. Oh, we can't say anything yet? Okay, all these are locked. So, okay, we have to finish the game. Oh, wait, hold on. We have finished our one. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, what does it say? Is there any course? Oh, this is the, the lore page that we read. Um, we're not going to read it right now. Oh, can I, can I dismiss that? Okay, I can't. All right, so it says, Zenny Corp is the company that owns the Kierland brand, and it was founded by David Arthur and T. Arthur in 1973. The decision, the decision behind the name of the company remained unknown. David had a newfound interest in robotics and engineering and decided to put it to use for entertainment purposes. While T's plans for the company were different, he 
ultimately agreed to go in this direction. Tierney was not Zanis Corp's first endeavor in the entertainment business. Their first location consisted of several cafes with only one basic animatronic. Throughout the company's life, all of Zanis Corp's locations were located within a small number of states within the U.S. Despite the basic nature of these locations, they proved to be very popular. As interest grew in the new trend and income grew, the brothers' plans grew more ambitious and more advanced. In 1990, their latest part of the amusement park would finally finish its construction. So this is 1990s. That's kind of way back, back in time. The robot engineers were now more advanced, with each character having modular endoskeleton parts. Changing modules granted the possibilities for different personalities, different routine, and radio control. Unfortunately, this modular swapping system would be would be a spoiler not long after so that's a lure page what so i guess we can collect them during the night i'm i'm guessing we can do that and something we'll have to do something up here i'm not sure what that is yet but i guess we we'll figure it out i'll go we got perks so okay do you left click the perk of course so do we have we have to get two perks i guess firstly and i guess that's what this is up here up here Alright, so then does we have to look here? Alright, let's do the tutorial. Hand hard more arrows are optional challenges designed to raise the difficulty for those who want it. Okay. So we can get okay, this is what you were talking about before. Yeah, I've seen that. Alright, you're currently in the control room, which is one of the three main rooms you can travel between. The enemies are active during this night, so take time to explore. Using the WASD keys and E, you can move or interact with your environment. From here, you can access the main computer, the left side door on your checklist. Find the slide room, the far left of it. So, all right. So, how do we go? Okay, all right. So, do we need to use, oh, oh, E, that's what it does? Oh, I remember this part. I know what, I remember this part. All right, this is the main hall. The door left leads to surprise. Um, dress can enter the hallway and, and you defend against them the same way if you see them in the keyhole. Here, growling moves to another room. No other growling, stay still and stare. Alright, find the, okay. This surprise room where, is where you assemble your alert robot each night. Use this bot to lead enemies into their containment rooms, thus completing the night. Find spare parts that randomly spawn on the floor of any room, click them together, then click hold on the lure bot to apply the piece. After two pieces, apply assembly is complete. I think I saw one in the hallway. Is there a piece over there? Is there another one? So I think I saw one in the hallway. All right, let's look on the floor. All right, so there's one right there. All right. So we can hold to do that. Okay. We can hold to do this one. All right, where's the last one? I think maybe it's in the hallway. Is it over here? No, I don't see it. I don't see it. Let's check here. Oh, let's check here. Oh, okay, there. I think that's it. Yep. Is he going to attack us? And you lose upper range. You need to access and control it by going to your computer in the control. When threats are active, be sure to move as quickly as possible to prevent the lair, to prevent the risk of the lair getting attacked before you have to control it. Hmm. All right. So let's go to the computer. You can move the lure using WASD. Oh, whoops! You lose like your lure just got corrupted. Remember to always move your your lure back and forth when near a threat to prevent prevent getting corrupted. To fix the lure, go to the surprise room via left door, then open the firewall. All right. So we need to go back here. All right. So there's a thing. Okay. Whenever you have to face the lure using the firewall, one of the file files listed is in this panel will be corrupted. You must find this file and rebuild it to restore the lure before time runs out. Corrupt the files, we will start with Axiani. So this one right here. Axiani, selecting your own file can correctly free the lure for the rest of the night. Be careful. Alright. Next, we're after tutorial now. Remember, you have, you only have a limited amount of time to fix the lure before it comes fully corrupt. Time in the kitchen. Quickly move, move, quickly move back to the 
computer to complete your okay so let's go here i don't have to read those extra parts actually it makes sense not to right so continue learn what is your training bot what is your training bot what is your training dummy into one of the containment doors so we just stay we do this all right where's the commitment door is that one right there oh okay okay so i guess it's the command door containment not commitment containment all right good job in the event of the entire attack here and take to be one of your some of your hp you can regain it yeah this is, yeah i remember that from a video that i watched yeah all right so we're done checklist land the rose i guess that's the trigger and leave all right so i'm guessing we're gonna actually go to the actual night i think we have to end that i think that's what we're gonna end this video i think i'm not sure how long today's video has been going on but i'm pretty sure it will be it will be a lot um from where i'm standing depending on yeah it's already gone 16 minutes so we're gonna do this night one i think we'll be fine i don't think it's gonna be hard i think we'll be fine doing it all right let's go right into it i've already like i said i've already watched some videos so i already know like a little bit of what to do i know that like on the the largest thing, like when you're moving, you have to move, especially during, I know Teeler, I think it was Teeler's animatronic, you have to move, because if you don't move um, on Teeler's um, animatronic, then it's on the corrupt thing, you have to go back and redo that whole process again. So I think we'll be fine, let's see. Alright. So, what's the first thing to do? Okay, checklist, contain Teeler. So, I think, okay, so we have to, yeah, we have to go into the hallway. And, and fix this. This one piece right there. Yeah, I remember this part. Yeah, so we fix it. And we have to head back there very quickly. But I think we have to check the people first, just in case. Alright. So, alright. Ooh, see, I told you. Alright, let's fix it real quick before. I think if you don't fix it on time, the animatronic in it attacks you so you have to be careful all right so i think that's Tila right there yeah that's Tila, i think i'm not sure me yeah he has to be here he's the one we're learning right oh he gone where'd he go what's that oh i don't think we're supposed to look at him right why the music change all of a sudden what the heck? I don't think we're supposed to look at him, right? What is that? There's something going on. Let me see. Oh, it's bad. Is it bad? Oh, yeah. This is the, the one and I'm trying to have to stare down. I think we're done, right? Right? Right. Yeah, we continue. Oh, that was easy. That was easy. That was easy. But anyway, because of time, I'm going to end the video here. Oh, let's see it first. Yeah, I forgot it has that. So we just got a perk point. That means I guess I think we need two to finish. You can take control of anything. An ability far more powerful hmm. than any other. There's a cutscene. So it looks like a jail cell. It looks like a cell or like kind of barrier or something. I don't know what it is. And like I said, I've watched this. I've watched people play it, but I still don't know some things about the game. It's just weird. It's something orange. Is that a shelf? That's supply room. It's a supply room, isn't it? What is that? Oh, it looks like there was something on that side. I know. I think that was the supply room that we went to. It looked like it was a T-Lore on the right side. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. So, congratulations. You've unlocked a few character descriptions. Click on second tab to view them. The more you progress, the more character description you unlock. This description will explain the mechanic. And, yeah. So, let's look at it. Let's look at it real quick. Alright. Okay. So, t -Lore. Yeah, I thought that was t -Lore. I knew that was t -Lore. I remember. t -Lore is a particular character of t, -Lore, t -Lore Land Park. His 
character is depicted as a gray dragon with a dressed outfit. Him along with others were constructed by David Artel. He is one of the many lurables, lurable threats that alert that alert the underground facility and one of the first to activate. Within each hour he would try to make his way towards the main hall and then to one of the keyholes. Opponent drivers do not stay in, in the same room or or stare or stay in the keyhole for too long to avoid getting tapped. So I so I how am I supposed to not stay if I can't go out? I guess I have to like run or something? I don't know. You should slow us to lure out all threats. If the lure stays, stays for too long within Teela's reign, Teela will, pro will protect, will proceed, sorry, will proceed to infect the lure, forcing the player to use the firewall within a set amount of time. So, we have to be careful that. Do I have anybody else? And Teela, I think there was the one that was in the hallway. Willow. And I saw the that that um this thing here in the I saw it inside the 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 alert thing. Anyway, Willow is an NBA threat within the facility. Her character dep depicts a red and white wyvern with a magician's outfit. I can see the magician outfit on that one. NBA threats are unable to be lured, and their radar icons are depicted with a yellowish tint. So that's what that's why it's yellowish. It's not necessary to contain NBA threats in order to complete the hour. Willow will regularly make her way into the hallway to attack. She can go to the hall even if threats beside dealers are already there. When she arrives she will laugh and you will have a limited amount of time to go into the hall and stare at her in order to send her back. So that's what that sound was. That I don't know how to sing it, but that's what it sounded like. And in addition to being, to, in addition to, uh, to being unable, sorry, unable to be lured, she will also never affect the lure, which is gonna be good for us, I guess. And now, anything else we can see? Oh, and Phil. Okay, the last one. Phil is a lurable threat. Is that the last one? Or is there more? Okay. Fear is a liberal threat within the facility. His character depicts a feared lizard with nice armor. Akin to Teela, he shares the same attack pattern. However, if you see him if you see him come to you anywhere, keep staring back to prevent getting attacked. I think that's the same thing with Willow, because if you don't stare at Willow, then he's gonna attack you. When fear reaches either door, he will bang on the door until you look through the keyhole. He will not leave until this is done, making you more vulnerable to Willow if you choose to ignore her. Mm, that makes sense. You always announce his arrival when he gets to the kill. Fuels has the ability to affect the Lord like Teeler, I guess. So we got these two people I guess we're gonna have to face now. I think I saw him. He looks he looks he looks like the character right here, kind of in the shape, but I'm not really sure. But anyway, thank you guys for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna see if I can make more videos on this um as recent as I can and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll put the the link to download this game if you guys want to is free so you guys can download it if you want to i'll uh, put that down in the description thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye